this video you will learn how to create an application for a license renewal, answer questions and upload documents, and finally, pay for and submit your renewal application. Most license types support automatic approvals for renewal applications. Then, when payment of local fees has been confirmed by the local authority, the license will be automatically issued. Note that there are some situations that do not qualify for automatic renewal. These situations require that a commission staff member review and approve the application, and these will be pointed out during this video. Click the Getting Started link at the top of the menu to initiate a new activity. Now click Select under Licensing. On the Licensing homepage, select the Actions Required tab in the Dashboard section. Starting up to 90 days prior to the expiration date, the license will be available for renewal online. Renew license will appear in the Action Required column, and the expiration date will appear in the Activity Date column. Select the link under the Number column to view more details about the license. The license page will open to display license details and a number of license activities. Select the Renew button to initiate a renewal application. The Renewal Application Wizard will now start, and it begins in a new status. If you have secondary licenses or endorsements, they will appear in a table under the Secondary Licenses heading. The Renew License checkbox will be checked by default. If you do not wish to renew the secondary license, Click the box to uncheck it. Click the Next button. Note, there are two possible conditions that will prevent you from continuing with the application. If you are leasing a property and your lease is expiring soon, you will receive this error message. You should delete this application. Once you have renewed your lease, create a license amendment and choose the amendment type of Update Lease or Deed. Once that application has been approved, you may restart your renewal application. If you are renewing on behalf of a corporation and your incorporation credentials have expired, you will receive this error message about an inactive corporation number. You should delete this application and contact the Nebraska Secretary of State to reinstate your registration. Once active, you may restart your renewal application. The questions page will have a number of defined questions. In some instances, a response will result in a subset of additional questions or a notification that a document will be required. All questions must be completed in order to submit the application. You may clear all your answers by clicking the Clear Answers button, shown here. When all questions have been answered, click the Next button. Now the Documents page opens. This page will specify which documents may be uploaded as part of the renewal application. If a document is required, a check mark will appear next to the document type in the table. If no check mark is present, the document is optional. In some cases, forms are provided under the Sample Forms column, indicated by a download icon. Click this icon to download the form to your computer. Upload documents by clicking the plus icon or by dragging and dropping files from your operating system into this area here. If you add a document, you will need to select the document type from the drop-down list. Note that if you upload documents, commission staff review and approval of the application will be required. Once all documents have been uploaded, click Next. The final step of the renewal application allows a review and then submittal. The system will provide an application number and related details. Then the licensing fees will be displayed. You must complete the declaration statement by clicking the checkbox, and then click the Pay and Submit button. You will then be taken to the Nebraska Payment System, where you can enter your payment details. Once all fees are paid, the application is submitted, 